This video is going to demonstrate how to sample in Ableton Live. So I just imported the song Dance in Dark by just dragging it in. Um, there's a lot of warp markers here, so I'm going to do Command A to select all of them and just delete them. I'm going to change the BPM to 128 because that's what it is. And then now we can drag this little marker um, to the part that we want to sample. So. I think I'm going to sample right here first. That's where one of the main drops starts. That's perfect. So I have that, and I'm just going to use Alt and drag this down. So now I have that saved, and I can find another one. Another part to sample. Anybody seen dancing in the dark all at a time? Let's say I want to sample that too, so I'm going to hold Alt and just drag that. So now I have that queued up. Dance. All right. Let's say we want to sample the drums. So here's a kick, and here's going to be the snare. Ableton gives you several options of where to put samples. You can use Sampler and Simpler. Both of those are found uh, under the Instruments tab. If you open up a drum rack, it actually opens up. You see what this looks like right here? That is the same thing as this Simpler. Sampler looks a little different. But every time you sample with drum rack, it's just a different Simpler for each sample. So we can actually, to make it easier, we could drag these samples right into drum rack. I'm going to drag this kick and this snare in. And then we can create some drum samples. Oops. Except you do not want them playing the whole song. So let's take this. Let's lower the length just that long. So let's delete the drums I already have. to see what this sounds like. Got an interesting vibe to it. <laughs> Another way you could sample is by using the sampler. Let's drag in that first drop that I made. And it transposes it for you as you click the notes. So let's zoom in here. Let's have a little fun with this. Alright, so now it'll only play it once, but you can do sustain mode, where you can have it go back and forth. Or uh, continuously go.
simpler. I'm going to mess with the same drop. I think simpler gives you more ability to do to just mess around with it. So, let's add some effects. And the last way you can sample is simply, yep, that started right at the beginning, right where I wanted it, by, is by simply bringing it into the track and just using it as an audio file, just taking parts. Dancing in the dark all at a time. Dancing in the dark. If you wanted to, you could set it up as a sample like this That's again just by bringing it into simpler. So, as you can see, sampling is pretty easy as long as you cue it up to exactly where you want it to start. And it sounds pretty cool just by messing around no matter what you do. If you have any other questions, just leave me a comment and I'd be happy to help you out.